What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel for another review. Now, I gotta be honest, it really has taken me a long time to be able to get the courage to do this review because quite frankly, this is the scariest movie that I've seen this year. Like, I'm definitely gonna break down as to why, but like, I literally needed a moment or two to really bring myself together to get this review done. Cause this was again, scary as hell. No cut cards, no shame. This movie was just unlike anything I've seen and I just don't think I'm gonna be watching it again just because of my scaredy cat nature, but overall it's a spectacular film. But this film is The Dark and the Wicked. It's gonna be releasing November 6th. It'll be in theaters, it'll be on demand, it'll be digitally. Um, and I, I can't stress enough, this movie is legit scary and it's a very, very hard to watch film. Like, to be honest, like I even reached out to the handler of the film and I told them I needed a moment. I needed to decompress. It was it was it was a, just a really difficult film to watch. And their response was, that's a relatable reaction. So I'm not clearly the only person who felt the same way in watching this film um, because and, and I'll talk about it. But like the film overall provides some amazing horror elements, but it just it taps on some really personal things that um, a lot of us are going to be able to be uh, that, that's going to find relatable. That's going to just take us uh, take us in our mind to like really deep places. So that's is that. But I'm going to go over it. But really quickly, let me go over um, what this film is about. So. First of all, this film stars Marin Ireland, who plays Louise, and Michael Ibot Jr., who plays a person named Michael. Um, so they're siblings, and you know, they their their family lives on a secluded farm. Their mom calls him and says, like, look, your dad is in bad shape. He's on his last breath. You need to come here and spend time with them. That brings the two of them and the family all back together um, uh, to the farm. And at the same time, while they come back, they realize that, you know, their mom is not only just dealing with this uh, from a grieving aspect, but also there's something else much more wrong with her. And quite frankly, everything in a farm as they can tell that, um, you know, the farm is definitely being uh, haunted by some form of an entity that's really taking over not just the farm, but their family. Uh, so, you know, we just experienced the two of them really go through a really difficult time with the family with the entity that's happening and it's really taking their taking them into different places because they're having to battle um you know illusions they're having to battle um uh possessions and just all types of just you know uh demonic things here so with that being said it's seven long days and long nights of just complete wow uh from the the things that the evil entity is doing to this family like seven long days of just craziness happening um and it just really uh it really challenges them as a family but i will say this marim and michael do a phenomenal job a performance of a lifetime because what these characters have to go through and what they have to do as far as acting is is just really powerful from being able to show uh, suspense, being able to show fear, being able to show even courage at times. They, they really hit all types of emotions all over the spectrum uh, together and just really, really strong and passionate performances by the two of them. I was just blown away by how good of a job that they did. And they had to do it as the leads. They had to really convince the viewers that they were really going through these things because again they're dealing with the the, the grieving of their father um, who's you know s soon to pass away but also because of all the craziness that's happening with their mother with the family with the farm everything with visitors just a lot going on and an evil entity hanging over their shoulders so just a really strong performance by the two of them and I do need to talk about Brian Bertino who is the writer and director of this, who's done Strangers, Monsters, and Mockingbird, who's just clearly no stranger to the horror game. He, look, this is his bread and butter here. And, you know, I got to imagine being a writer or a director when you're able to have leads like, such as the two of them. Um, just the possibilities are limitless. And this, I, the performances that they put on just had to just make the job just so much more easier for Brian. Because, again, 
him being a no no stranger to this genre and this them you know who's acting in so many different things that bringing them on together was just a match made in heaven or maybe hell in this case <laughs> because of this film um but you know the film the other thing i want to talk about is just how this film um is really built around experiences that are so relatable to many people the grieving the dying process and you know adding having to add religion to it um it pretty much invites you to use and channel your own feelings into this and it's completely mind-bending and what i'm saying here is that while you're watching the film you may have to reminisce or even have to go back down a path of when you experienced some of these things and how you dealt with it how you cope with it how you grieved and so on you know your your battles against religion and so on like it because of these things are in this film it's is a hundred percent going to make the viewers, you know, feel truly uh, attached to this and and in the relatable factor that you know is already emotional in, in, in its own, but then adding everything that's happening to the film is just it's just nuts. Um, it, it's 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 a really it's, again this is why it's a really scary film, but it's also like a really hard watch. Uh, with that being said, too. Uh, it's so damn scary. It may not be good for everybody. <laughs> like, I'll be honest, dude. Listen, this is my biggest disclaimer of this film. If you're gonna watch this film, do not watch it at night. Like, seriously. I had bad nightmares after watching this film. Like, I won't even lie, I had bad nightmares. And even after watching, I had to decompress for a while because it was just so damn scary that I needed a moment to like recollect myself and I then I was thought I was good and I really don't even have nightmares like that but damn sure did after this because that's just where this film goes um so if you're going to watch it in theaters you're going to watch it at home wherever it's going to be like totally prepare for how you're going to pull yourself out of the darkness once you watch this film but i, I look again do not let my scaredy cat nature deter you from watching this this is a really good film and you should watch it at least once i can't watch it twice but you should at least watch it once and when you do watch it you be very very um pay close close attention because there's a lot of different things that are very important to the plot because even for me it was difficult for me to kind of follow the plot um concept like you know straight through i had to kind of rewind at some points because there was things i was missing uh so you definitely want to make sure that you pay attention to things that are happening uh things are happening in the background dialogue between characters because again you're dealing with an entity here so you're going to be seeing things that are uh that are possessions that are illusions um all types of all that good stuff but again as far as the the horror elements of this film uh the sound effects spectacular and the jump scares the, fr the like the really frightening and chilling sound and like mostly the loud screaming is so well done it it, it really 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 is and the best and biggest part about this film um, outside of the performances like I said the, the two leads give a performance of a lifetime that really piles on the drama the emotion the intensity they, they really work really well together but this film was not predictable at all so you just really have no clue what's coming how it's coming at all it is completely going to throw you in the back of your seat and maybe have you hiding under your, your pillows or under your arms whatever it may be closing your eyes because you just won't what you you're just not going to expect what's coming at all uh but nonetheless again <laughs> the dark and the wicked is going to be released in november 6th you know check this out i am so damn curious to know what you all going to think about this film so definitely holler at me in the comments below with your thoughts and <laughs> until then everybody be safe and uh you know choose to watch this film wisely <laughs> thank you for watching everybody